Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Spacecraft. In the last episode, what did we do? Did we do something? I don't know. We did something. Probably. Most likely. I'm assuming we did something at least. Oh yes, um, I think the last thing I did was a time lapse where I, um, made this. This is quite nice looking. So, in today's episode, we are gonna be messing with a new mod. So, this new mod I have is called Buildcraft, and Buildcraft is very fun. Buildcraft is something we need because it will allow us to create the quarry, which allows us to dig a big hole. Oh yes, and by the way, I've been working on this a bit. So... Yeah, we still need to put in the um, brick walls, but it's looking a bit better. Alright, so, judging by this, it looks like we need about seven gears. Alright, here we go, seven gears. Wonderful. Okay, next step is to make these into stone gears. Alright, so as you all may know, I also have an iron farm. And the iron farm is doing lots of work. Look at this. This is insane. Thank you, villagers, for summoning your iron golems, because it allows us to get all this wonderful iron all right this shouldn't be too expensive i've built these pretty early on in some of my other let's plays of this game so um it's not too bad all right so basically when you make a quarry you just upgrade the gears from the wood to the iron or wood to wood to stone to iron it's not too hard to do all right once you have um gold gears you have you need four gold gears of course you, you surround two of these in diamonds or, or you just put eight diamonds around four of them and then you get you know here you go you get your two diamond gears and now we we need three more diamonds so uh we might need to go diamond mining once we have a big enough hole to do that and here we go we're about to finish it up with this one piece of redstone wonderful now we have to place it down over here now. I had the... Yeah, this is where I put the turtle at. I think we're gonna put it like, um... So it faces this way. Just ignore the, the slime water there. We'll, we'll get rid of that. What the heck is... Wait a second, what? what? He's wearing gold armor. Um... It's almost a full suit, but that's not the most ridiculous thing I've seen in this game. Yes, just... Get destroyed by the fire. Yes, good. Another one? Wait, this is a whole apocalypse. There's like three zombies just coming out of there. It's like... Okay, I really need to do... Sp I, I need to spawn-proof this place. Because... It's... Okay, yeah, just go... Oh, wow, that must have hurt. All right, now here's the moment of truth. Let's see where this thing aligns itself. Boom. Uh, it's not clipping through our base, so it looks pretty good to me. Wait, oh, we hit hover. Oh. Ooh. oh, I forgot we have the slime boots on, so we'll be fine. Alright, so in order to power this thing, we are, we're either going to need engines or um, a solar panel. Alright, so looking at this, this is, um, this is very expensive. Uh, well... Yeah, it's gonna take us quite a few of these to make all of these, so... It's a pain. Where is my lapis? Uh, oh. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, crap. This is what I get for not organizing anything. I just leave it all in chests randomly. Just throwing it around. What the heck? And I couldn't find it any in any of these chests. Oh. Never mind, I'm just blind. <laughs> Uh-oh. I found the gl the glitches. They're, they're back. So if we open this chest, um, this isn't right. This is not how it's supposed to be. Now this is actually caused by buildcraft. So um, yeah, it also affects our map. If we hit J, it's just blue. Now I had this happen in my last let's play, so I'm used to this, and it's not gonna affect me at all. We need to make. No, we don't need to make anything. We have all that we need here. Uh. So how many of the- Okay, this makes nine, which nine- Okay, three of these makes two of these, so technically we just need to make one. 
And then we need an advanced wafer, which is... Oh, crap. What do we need to put there? Um... Oh. Okay, just a redstone. Ah, uh, crap. Wait, I dyed my backpack blue. What? Okay, that's, that's an issue. You know it's a sad day when you only have 10 redstone. Or you really use your redstone for circuitry. But I don't use my redstone for circuitry or anything. I just have 10 redstone sitting around. And that's it. <laughs> the reason that it is is because um, these mods take, like, all your resources away from you. You have to, like, spend them on the... Uh, these things. Alright, so these are called a drying rack. Now, what these are for is drying things like meat or pretty much anything into jerky. Now, you could use rotten flesh on these, which is one of the really useful things about them. You can put rotten flesh on them and it will become a uh, monster jerky, which is nice. Now, I'm using these to make leather, so I'm using cooked meat. Hold on, I just made a mistake. We don't actually need to make a solar panel. We need to make a um, energy energy unit. What is it? Oh yes, energy storage module. Yes, this is what we need. You know, I don't actually store tin in ingot form. I just store the um, tin ore. Okay, that's that's fine. Alright, so, as usual, I have to go to our subscriber area, and I'm going to be placing down a block again. So, this is for... This block is for Derek Kabbalah. Thank you for helping me out. Um, it was good advice. Thank you. And I will be working to get better. Yes. What the heck is this? It's another zombie apocalypse. It's happening again. Um... Okay, yes, just, uh... Please stop following me. I'm currently powering it using mechanism pipes to pipe energy into it. Now, what this is used for is for producing compressed ink or compressed tin. All right, so this is a Galacticraft electric compressor. So this is used to make compressed ingots. All right, so we probably need about four of these to make enough. For one of these? I, I don't know. Okay, next we need to get some aluminum. Wait a second. I thought I didn't store any of this in the, the ingot form. What's... Okay, I'm messing up left and right today, aren't I? Alright, so now we have these aluminum wires, which are used to... Usually for energy, but in this case, we will be using them to make batteries. So... Uh... Hello? What? How? How do I make these again? Oh! Okay, we don't even need those. I'm... I'm very sorry about that. Alright, so this is the Galacticraft workbench. Or, NASA workbench, I should say. This is where you make rockets, vehicles, and other things. And you may be confused when you first look at this, but I'm gonna explain it to you now. So these are for chests, so if you plan on storing things with you in your rocket, then you need to put three chests in here, um, these are for your fins, these two on the edges. So the outer two are fins, this middle one is the engine, and this top one is the nose cone. And then these in the middle are all heavy duty plates. Alright, now this one is a tier 2 rocket, which is basically the same thing, except there are boosters now. Now, I do not remember where the boosters go exactly, but they, they probably go somewhere on this outer edge, and if I have my guess, it's probably right here. Alright, so next up we need compressed steel, which we don't have any of that because I wasted it all on something. Probably. Alright, now this machine right here in the middle, this one, is a basic infusing factory. This is the upgraded version of a metallurgic infuser, I think. So, this is what we use to make steel, and I have mine fully upgraded with speed enhancements, so as you can see, it's making enriched iron, then we put the enriched iron back in, and it produces steel dust. This steel dust, you can take it and put it in your furnace, smelt it up, and you have steel ingots. I also forgot to mention that um, in order to get this carbon in here, you need to put coal in here. 
Alright, so you may be wondering what this machine is and what this bucket is, because it's got a lot of yellow fluid in it. Well, this is the refinery, and what it does is make refined fuel. Now, to make refined fuel, you just simply put some oil in here, and it will output into here, as long as you're powering it. Now, in my case, I have set up some pipes to output it into a barrel. Alright, so now I crafted a, um, a battery. I just need an aluminum wire. And I think we'll need a windmill as well to get this thing to run. Alright, well, I would hate to take one off my main grid, but I think we're gonna have to. Okay, this is epic. Oh, crap. Oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Whoops. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I just made a very big mistake there. I just... I left it without the pipes on it, so it didn't even output. It just shot everything everywhere. <laughs> okay, now let's try this again because I messed that up horribly. So what we're gonna want to do is place... Oh, yes. We, we got an achievement. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and keep doing this. So we need to set up these pipes so that way it will output into a few chests. Um, I think it takes around 8 for the default settings, so... That's what I have right now, at least. I have like 16. And now it is time for us to, um... Wait a second. I want to make sure... I think we could run it with water. So, the reason I want to run this thing with water is so that way it will, like, mine obsidian as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Don't even question the fact that there's still purple slime there, even though I just took out the, um, the bucket. Alright, here goes nothing. It's the moment of truth. We are about to do it. Here goes. Oh, yes. This thing is gonna go fast, I'm assuming. Uh. Oh, crap. It can't mine through water. Okay, never mind. I messed up. Big time. Oh, hold on. It actually can mine through water. Okay, we need to pour the water back in then. Um. So, yes, if you're doing this in your world, make sure you use a water bucket because it will save you a lot of time mining through obsidian. Alright, so I'm never messing with this, um, purple slime stuff again. It just messes up everything. It just spills everywhere, and it duplicates itself everywhere, and it's just annoying to deal with, so... Yeah, I'm never ever gonna mess with this, or play with it again, so... Let's go ahead and take care of this. And look at this mess. Just look at it. This is all, like, that's two blocks of cobblestone at the bottom. Maybe even three if you count the dirt layer. Okay, let's go ahead and start this up again. Hopefully I didn't leave any of it left. Otherwise, it's just going to make a mess. All right, here it goes. Let's let's take a look from the perspective of the, uh, the cobblestone block. I'm on standby for the spills, okay? Yes. Oh, crap. There might be some still in there. Okay. I think it's past that point. So it should be good now. Now it's time for us to get to the next part of today's episode. What the heck was that? I, I think I heard a... Um, what? What the heck is that? Oh crap. Crap! That's what I heard! Uh, wait, oh those, those are skeleton horses, aren't they? Wait, okay, let's take out the riders then. No! No, 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 no. No, please, no. Please, I want to take out your... your um. I want to just take out these guys on the top of the horses, but apparently the horses are like... Hey, stop fighting! No! Hey, come get some. Crap, that did not go to plan. Uh, time for plan B. I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> oh. oh, crap. All the horses are dead. I really wanted one. Just why? Except for that one. Oh, we might actually get a horse today. Let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and take out that guy on top of the horse, using our sniper skill. That's it. That's, that's just no point in that. Just no point. Okay, so I also want to make a new tool called the Excavator. Now, the Excavator is a broad digging tool. It, has, it digs up large areas of soil and snow in a wide range of terraform. To make the Excavator, we're going to need a large plate a thick rod and a binding as well as a excavator head all right 
So, to make a cast for a binding, what we need to do is place the binding in our table here. Then, wait for our aluminum brass to be smelted down. And then, pour it onto our stuff. And as you can see, we have a new binding cast. Alright, so for our plate, we're going to use some obsidian. Let's go ahead and pour out that. I think we should have enough. Hopefully we do. If not, I'll just put some more in here. There we go. Yeah, we did not have enough. Okay. Okay, you gotta be joking me. This thing is... flooded again. And now we have to wait for it to go away. It takes so long for it to go away. Huh? Okay, we'll just wait for it to go away now. Alright, so I cleaned it up again, and now it's back up and running. Full efficiency. Okay, I was looking for my, um... Tinkerer's Workshop book, but I couldn't find it, so I guess we have to go to this dimension to see if it's here. And it looks like I just left it here. Just Why do I leave things in the most random places? Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of this place. So as you can see, I've been doing a bit of furnishing. It's quite nice. We got this kitchen area going with these cabinets. We got some desk cabinets, I guess. Because I couldn't find a good cabinet from this mod to, like, put down here, so I'm used to using the, um, desk cabinets. We have a trash can, which deletes things, too. This wonderful room here. Um, and as you can see, we the pink sky is rising in the distance. We get a perfect view from this room here. With these wonderful sliding doors. This will be quite amazing when done. I, I think it has good potential. Oh, yes, I forgot to mention that it has a, a working bathroom area thing, I guess. <laughs> Quite nice. Now, I do need to get a mirror here as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm really liking this, um, mod. Quite nice. Anyway, back from our pocket dimension adventure. Let's go ahead and take care of business. So, I need to read this book real quick so I can see which, um, thing should be the binding. And then read about embossment, because I need to do that as well. Alright, so I was thinking Ardite, maybe? Maybe. Let's go ahead and see if Cobalt is... Yeah, Cobalt's nice, but I do like the extra durability, so we'll go with Ardite. Alright, so I've made a video about this before, but never ever mix Ardite with Cobalt unless you want Manulin. Alright, we just have a few more ingots left and then I can uh, pour in the Ardite. So let's go ahead and put it in now, I guess. Um, it should be fine. Quick. We gotta be quick. Because I don't know how long... Okay, we, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Our hand is still massive again. It's going through the block. <laughs> what What in this mod causes that to happen? <laughs> Just I know it's the quarry, but like... Why would the quarry cause giant hand disease? Like, what the heck is this? <laughs> Alright, so one of the tool pieces or things you can make your tools from is paper. Now, paper, you don't forge paper, you, you put it in your table here, as you can see, um, if I take out this cobblestone. A tool binding pattern plus paper equals a tough tool binding made from paper. Quite useful, isn't it? One of the things paper can be used for is for casting casts, of course, because you can craft it in here. Put it in here, pour aluminum brass on that, and it will make a cast. Paper also has a wonderful modifier called writable. Writable allows it to have extra modifiers. But I don't recommend using paper as a standalone. I would recommend embossment for using paper. As its durability is only 15. Alright, so we're going about this the wrong way. If, we're, if we want to make a very durable excavator, we need to focus on using the best tool pieces we can use and then putting the crappiest pieces embossed onto it, rather than embossing the best pieces onto the worst pieces. I think that's what we're doing wrong. A really cool thing to know about Tinkerer's Workshop is that you can actually change a tool pattern from one pattern to another. So, for example, let's go ahead and change this to an excavator pattern. And there we go. Now we can make a cast for an excavator head. And here we go. This is our base excavator. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to take this, put some 
embossments on it, such as a wood embossment and a endstone one, because endstone has something interesting about it that I want to check out and see what it is. Alright, so I actually have to come to the nether to get some things, specifically soul sand and then some slime island stuff that we haven't gotten yet. Alright, now if you're playing with the, um, the Tinkerer's Workshop 1.12.2, this is a magma slime island. Anyway, it's got some cool stuff here. You got some magma slime blocks, you got some magma slime dirt. It's basically got the same thing as a normal slime island, except it's the never version. And it may also come with a few magma cubes just running around. Okay, what the heck is this? How do you, how do you get a chicken? He's in the middle of the nether, there's no chickens- okay, actually. I guess we brought a chicken here at one point, but um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's still by the- portal, so how does this guy got a chicken? Oh, oh crap. Oh, yes, there's magma cubes. Ah, get- oh crap. Crap, 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 crap. We don't want to die. We don't want to die. Um, yes, we really don't want to die today. Oh crap. Wrong button! Oh, no, this is not good. Not good. Oh, okay, we're still alive somehow. Um, let's just cling to the ceiling using our jetpack. Headshot. Boom. Easy kill. Easy kill. Okay, now around this corner is another one, so... Come get some. Yes, you cannot take me on, I'm too good. I am... Oh yes, I am so good. Alright, so here's how you make slime crystals. So, what you do is you take some slimy magma, or... Well, depends on what kind you're making, but in this case I'm gonna have this, which is slimy magma mud. I'll just throw that in there, and it will melt into a crystal. In order to make these um, mud blocks, usually you just take a, in this case it's this, you take slime balls, magma cream, slime ball, magma cream, and then soul sand and neverack. Now usually with other things it's just all one type of slime, slime ball, just all one type of slime ball, and then uh, dirt and sand. Alright, so now we're about to emboss our tool. So we're going to use the stencil here, and then we're going to choose what part we're going to emboss. Probably the handle. I think that's what we want to emboss, but it doesn't matter. Okay, ecological. Then we can go ahead and place that on there. And now we have the embossment on it. Wonderful. Alright, so for the tool plate, we're going to do end stone, which we're going to do like this. Boom. We get one of these, it gets alien and interference, okay. Oh, the tool only can have one embossment. That is very sad, I wanted to make it epic, but okay. So I guess it's as good as it's gonna get. Let's go ahead and take it off and experience the joy that is the excavator. Also, our quarry has finished, has it? No, it's just stopped, what the heck is up with this? What? Uh, do I need to restart the quarry again? Let me let me redo this real quick. Now there we go. Our quarry is doing what it is supposed to now, and we don't have to worry anymore. Look how fast this thing is going. So it isn't actually supposed to be used the way I'm using it now, but the my, my mods allow me to do this. So. Yeah, it gets around the energy issue, and we no longer have to use coal. Which, I guess it sa saves the environment, too. Alright, time to test out our excavator. So, the excavator, of course, is a 3x3, three three, just like the hammer. So, look at this. Look at this, it's so fast. Now, we can make it even faster with some cobalt and some other attachments and modifiers and things. But we can save that for a future episode because I think I've ran out of time for today's episode. So, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. I will see you guys next time, and goodbye.